Ladies and gentlemen, welcome all the way to stage, Mark Biddlestone! All right, guys, how you doing? Very good. Uh, just for clarity before we start, uh, I'm not a little boy. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm actually 28 years old. I know, I know. I know, so it's true, it's true. Um, but when you look really young for your age, everyone says the same thing to you, right? They all say, you'll be so grateful when you're older. Right? That's what everyone says. They're like, oh, you're going to be so grateful when you're older. <laughs> Will I? <laughs> Can't wait to be a 90-year-old virgin. <laughs> but with all those well-known benefits of looking like a fresh-faced 80-year-old. <laughs> I'm also gay. <laughs> Don't cheer it. It's all right, in my opinion. It's a bit like paintball. Wouldn't be my first choice, but if someone else is deciding, fine. <laughs> I did that joke a few months ago at a gig at a brewery just outside Reading. Got halfway through, said being gay is like paintball. This bloke at the back goes, yeah, it makes your bum hurt. <laughs> I said to him, actually, mate, plenty of gay men don't do anal sex, and of those who do, many don't receive, and of those who do receive, if you're using enough lube and you have a sensitive partner, anal sex can and should be a very loving and erotic act, so I'm afraid the joke doesn't work. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, it was a good gig. <laughs> no, I, um, I came out in 2014. Uh, and uh, I've been looking back recently and just thinking about whether my family sort of knew beforehand. Do you know what I mean? Um, and then I remember the time that my mum sat me down and goes, look, Mark, we found gay porn <laughs> on the family computer. Was it you? Now, between us up the creek, <laughs> it very much was me. But I went so far out of my way to deny it that that became known as the period where a mum -um thought my dad was gay. <laughs> Come on. Good times. Good times. No, seriously. Seriously, I'd come home and be like, where's dad? And my mum would go, he's gone for a drink with his friend, Stephen. <laughs> Even when I finally came out as gay, the first thing she said to me was, well, I think we all know where you got that from. <laughs> I uh, watched quite a lot of porn over the pandemic, if we consider the pandemic to have started in 2005. <laughs> stupid, stupid. Now, I watched quite a lot of porn over the pandemic, and I'll tell you what will kill your vibe quicker than anything else in the world, and that's hearing a regional British accent while you're watching porn, okay? <laughs> I was watching a couple of guys give it to each other. That's what we puffers do. <laughs> One of them thought he'd engage in dirty talk, and I kid you not, this came out of his mouth. <clears throat> He's receiving, right? He literally goes, oh, that is absolutely lovely. <laughs> That is completely and utterly top-notch. If you can go harder, do. If you can. If you can. You are smashing it. <laughs> <laughs>